This is my new SV Bonnie Maxutov Cassegrain telescope. It's one of the best that I have tested for visual astronomy. In this video, I will share my thoughts and feelings about this new Mac telescope. To be very upfront, I have fallen in love with this telescope for visual astronomy and stargazing. I have found it to be good quality, good build and good optics and overall powerful. But let's begin by talking about its specs. This telescope is very small for what it can do. In fact, it just weighs about two kilograms. Its compact design makes this very portable. You could use this telescope for a wide range of activities. You can use it in the daytime or nighttime. You could do stargazing as well as bird watching with it. Is quite versatile. It's compact and convenient enough to take with you on your trip. You can use this for visual work as well as for planetary or bright nebula astrophotography. This has the aperture of 105 mm and its focal length, its reach is about 1365 mm, which makes its focal ratio to be about, about f13, which is reasonably good. With this focal ratio, you will be able to see the Orion Nebula with it, which is awesome. But sadly, you won't be able to resolve dim nebulas. That said, this is primarily designed for planets, moon, double stars and perhaps bright nebulas like Orion. This Mac is fully multi-coated, so you can expect clear, sharp, high contrast results from it. There is absolutely no hint of any optical issues. It has minimal chromatic aberration or fringing or coma. To my eye, it's free from optical issues, which is awesome. Another great thing about Max is that you don't really have to worry about any reducer or flattener or coma corrector because the view is already corrected out of the box and ready to go. So this scope really is mount and go. Another awesome thing about this is its focuser. Focusing is buttery smooth and very accurate. It's very, very smooth. Perhaps you might find that it's too smooth. For some people, uh, this might be a weakness, but I certainly love the smoothness of the focuser. It comes with a dual dovetail mounting base. You could put a finder scope on top of it, or if you are doing astrophotography, you can get away with using a guide scope here too. It's good to see that this comes with the mounting base. Some SV Bonnie products don't come with it, and you have to purchase it that separately. But it's good to see that this comes with the scope. It comes also with a 160mm Vixen style dove plate, a dovetail plate, which makes it very easy to balance on the mount, so no balancing issues at all. Well, I can say that I'm more than happy with my SV Bonnie MK105. It's very well put together, feels very good in your hands and looks even better. It has a beautiful paint job, the focuser is silky smooth, the lens and mirrors are flawless. If I had to be very picky, and say one bad thing about this scope, that will be the dust cover. Its fit is a little loose. But that's not really an issue, it's really a minor issue. I love this scope and I really enjoy doing visual work, seeing Orion Nebula, Jupiter and its storms, Saturn and its rings with this telescope. And I recommend this scope to you as well. Well, if you find this video to be helpful, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please uh, write in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Hope you have a lovely day.